Well, I made a mistake last year, and I don't want to repeat it again, so let me show you what I did, the problem I had with it, and why I don't want to do it again, and then how I'm going to change that, what I'm doing differently this year. I think you're going to want to see this if you like corn. First of all, growing corn is one of the most rewarding things you could do. There's just nothing like going to the freezer and getting you some good sweet corn that you grew yourself. But corn is labor intensive. You've got to cultivate it. You've got to fertilize it and it takes a lot of fertilizer. It's a heavy feeder. Then you've got to heal it at least twice to help it grow right. Then there's the long wait for the harvest time. And then there's the harvest. And it's just an exciting thing to grow your own corn. And again, very rewarding to look at all the corn you grew. And now you've got to do something with it. Well, you need to store it right. And last year, I did not. It was beautiful but I didn't store it right. So let me show you what I did and show you what I did differently this year. So last year, all I did was put it in Ziploc freezer bags. And I thought that would be a good way to store it. I've stored other things that way. But as you can see, over the course of the year that it was in the freezer, it started developing, not freezer burn, but just frost inside it, ice and frost because of the moisture that was inside the Ziploc bags. And even though we tried to get the air out best we could, it just didn't work. Didn't know it at the time, but it just didn't work. So this year we're doing something differently. We've had a vacuum sealer for years, but I thought last year it was just gonna be more trouble than it was worth. Well, it's not, it's worth the trouble. So let me show you what I'm doing here. We're packing it, my wife is packing it in uh, freezer bags, we go, if they're full ears, we do about six ears to the bag. Uh, if they're half ears or shorter ears, we do eight. Then I take it over to the vacuum sealer and I will show you the uh, model that I have in just a minute. We turn it on, let it vacuum out all the air, and you'll see that it gets as hard as a brick because all the air is gone and all the possibility for ice formation is gone. You have to wait for the vacuum sealer to stop, seal the bag, it vacuums the bag, it seals the bag. There's the seal on top. And once you've done that, you've got a brick of corn. No chance of air getting in no chance of ice getting in. Here's a little closer view of the vacuum sealer. You uh, place the bag in the chamber, the vacuum chamber, lock it down, turn it on, and then it automatically vacuums out the bag. And you'll see the red light come on in a minute up there. That means it's sealing the bag. While the green light is on, it's vacuuming. And then the seal comes on and it takes a few seconds for it to seal. And then you have got a perfect bag of corn. We had a bunch of them. In fact, we had 24 bags of corn at an average of about six ears each. So that's quite a bit of corn. So here it is in the freezer, and it is a satisfying sight to see that much corn in your freezer. I still have corn from last year in the Ziploc bags. We've been giving some of it away to family, and we've been eating it ourselves. We haven't started in on this yet because I do want to uh, relieve the freezer of all the uh, Ziploc bags of corn. But these are beautiful. This is temptress corn from uh, Haas Tools. And it's my first year to grow the temptress. It is a quad sweet corn. It's supposed to be even sweeter than the corn we grew last year. So really, really looking forward to this. So if you're going to freeze corn, this is the way to do it. In the past, we've frozen it in aluminum foil. 
the entire ear shuck and all, but uh, decided that that's just not really a good way to go. Uh, this is just gonna be much better. It's not that expensive. The vacuum sealers aren't that expensive, nor uh, are the bags. So look below the video, if you will, for a link to uh, the Food Saver vacuum sealer. There are many different kinds. This one I bought a year or two ago. They may not have this one available, but all of them work really, really well. I've got two of them and they work really, really well. So if you're gonna freeze corn, this is the way to go. Don't make the mistake I made last year and have ice and frost all in your Ziploc bags of corn. Hope that was informative, helps you out. I done made myself hungry. <laughs> all right, we're gone.